Hello everybody. Today is August 5th, 2020. I'll be taking you on a short walk through Delaware Park here in the city of Buffalo, New York. We're starting off here in the Rose Garden. The time of recording this was about 2 p.m. You'll notice the park is not super crowded. We are currently dealing with coronavirus, as well as it being a weekday afternoon. A lot of people are still at work. Straight ahead here is the terrace, which is a rental space, also used as a restaurant and bar. It has a beautiful back patio that looks onto Hoyt Lake. We will see the other side of the terrace towards the end of the video. At the time of filming, it was about 71 degrees. A little breezy, but beautiful bright blue skies. There was a patch of cloudiness to start the video, but very sunny throughout the rest of it. Delaware Park is the largest park and most used park in the city of Buffalo. It was designed by Olmsted and Vo, or Vox between 1868 and 1870. They also designed Central Park in New York City. This park is full of beautiful, tall trees. These paths throughout the park are gravel paths. There are a few paved paths. Throughout the walk, you'll notice a lot of people using the space to relax, picnic, study. I even saw a few hammocks. This side of Delaware Park is a little more natural. The other side of Delaware Park, where the loop is located, I will be filming in the future. And that's full of fields, a golf course, the zoo, and that is completely paved. That's where a lot of people jog and bike, get their exercise in. This side of the park is used more as a retreat. This is actually my second time filming the park. Unfortunately, the first time I filmed this park a few Sundays ago, my camera was a little bit tilted, so unfortunately I wasn't able to release it. On that day, the park was a little more crowded. There was also a large drum circle. I've been told they get together uh, every Sunday night. The park has a lot of branching paths, as you can see here. The path to the left heads downward. It actually leads to where we'll meet up to a little bit later on in the path, but we're actually going to head to the right here. They do angle the camera up here to kind of get a nice view of the canopy of leaves, and there's that sun peeking through. This is uh, one of the first cool days in the summer we've had in a long time, but still plenty of sun. I would say a perfect day to take a walk. Before taking this walk through the park, I did a little drive throughout the city, checked on some construction throughout the city. Hopefully I plan to do a lot more of these walks, not just in parks, but also in cityscapes and streets. I hope to show you a little more of the natural side of Buffalo. If you've seen my previous YouTube videos, I do a lot of cuts and edits. Hopefully these videos will be less edits, more of a natural flow to it. And you can see and experience Buffalo the way I do as well. You can see here there is a garbage can. I do like how the park places these garbage cans throughout. The park is very well maintained throughout this walk. I don't remember seeing much garbage, if any, on the ground. The 
path here kind of butts up to a residential area. Delaware Park is bound by a few roads. Delaware Avenue, Main Street, Parkside Avenue, closer to the zoo. The main neighborhoods around Delaware Park include the Elmwood Village, Parkside, Park Meadow, Black Rock, Buffalo State University, and the West Side. Other neighborhoods nearby, Hamlin Park, Canisius College, nice breeze through the trees here. It is August. It is still summertime. The best season, I would say, in Buffalo. Temperatures this summer haven't been too hot. With the exception for one week we had earlier in the year, in June, where we had eight days in a row of 90 plus degree temperature. It's actually a record for western New York. Buffalo, New York does have mild summers in comparison to the rest of the United States, but on occasion can get pretty hot. Most of the residents in Buffalo live in older homes built around the turn of the century. Most homes do not have air conditioning, so the summer a lot of people go out and enjoy the fresh air the best they can. Here's another one of those trash cans I was telling you about. The road, the path, I should say, splits in multiple directions here, but we're going to take a sharp left. There's one of the soccer fields. This path here is one of the more popular paths throughout the park. It's going to take us to the Ivy Archway. The last time I was on this path, there were two wedding couples taking pictures. On today's walk, uh, we did not see any soon-to-be couples taking pictures, although those tend to happen more on the weekends and not during weekdays. This is a very well-designed park. And uh, a lot of the people who live in Buffalo have definitely used this park. If you are going to be staying in the city and it is nice weather, I definitely suggest you come to Delaware Park. Spend a little bit of time. Also, slightly before filming this, I stopped at Ulrich Tavern on Ellicott Street in the Medical District, one of the oldest taverns in Buffalo. Since the 1860s, I want to say. Maybe I could be wrong on that, but we got a beef on wick and a beer, a very Buffalo meal for this day. Here we are at the archway. Intended to have ivy running all across it. Unfortunately, there is not as much ivy. In fact, there's none on the opposite side. This is a very popular area for people to take Instagram pictures, wedding pictures. Here's the other side of the archway. I was very surprised to not see another person down in this area. And we're going to branch off to the right here. This will eventually lead us down to Hoyt Lake. Definitely the main attraction for this side of Delaware Park. It's 
Speaking of attractions, Delaware Park is home to a few attractions, including the Buffalo Zoo, Forest Lawn Cemetery, the Buffalo History Museum, and the Albright Knox Art Gallery. The Albright Knox Art Gallery in the Buffalo Zoo would be definite must-dos if you are traveling to Buffalo. I love the History Museum. And starting here in August 2020, throughout the rest of the year, admission is free to the History Museum. The Albright Knox Museum is getting a massive upgrade and is currently under construction and will be down for another year. We'll get to see its construction site in just a little bit on the walk. As you can see, the path turns from gravel to pavement. This area is a little more used. Off to the left, this large hill is used for Shakespeare in the Park, which is very popular here in Buffalo. Unfortunately, this year, 2020, due to the current pandemic, uh, Shakespeare in the Park is not happening. They normally have a huge setup here. People sit on the hill. The stage is at the bottom of the hill, just to the left here. Unfortunately, this summer, a lot of festivals and traditions that normally happen in Buffalo, of course, are not happening, just like the rest of the country. But Buffalo is very active in the summertime. I would say this is the busiest season. Most of our tourism is in the summertime, and I would say in the early fall, Buffalo has very pleasant summers. The rest of the seasons, however, can be very wild. The spring and the fall can be wonderful, but can also be quite cold at times. And the winter here can be downright terrible. Gray skies almost all the time. Hopefully we'll be able to do this walk in the winter and you'll be able to see what it's like then too. Here's one of the hammocks that I mentioned earlier in the video. A lot of people like to spread out the hammocks and just relax. I say a pretty nice way to spend a summer day. All right, we're actually in for something quite interesting on the left here. There is a camera crew set up, and surprisingly enough, the mayor of Buffalo is on the left. I had no idea this was going to happen. Just happened to walk through the area. It looks like they're setting up for some sort of press conference or, or promotion of some deal. I was going to show more of the lake, but there he is. That is the mayor, Byron Brown. Hoyt Lake, which is connected to the Skajakota Creek, which connects to the Niagara River. Of course, the Niagara River links Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Straight ahead there is the History Museum. Look at that. People out in the rowboats. And straight ahead there is the Albright Knox Art Gallery. We'll get a better look at it in just a second. Off to the right here is another small film crew. I don't know what they were filming. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with why the mayor was here as well. Peeking a Above the art gallery there is the top of one of the buildings for Buffalo State College, which is just across the road here from Delaware Park. We're coming up on a nice plaque of Delaware Park that I'll show you. It does have a map of the area.
That is the main area we just walked. Some more rowboats. Some families waiting to go onto the rowboats. These stairs here lead up to the road, and then the stairs continue all the way up to the Albright Knox Art Gallery. A lot of people use these stairs for their workouts. Most athletic behavior <laughs> happens on the other side of Delaware Park, on Ring Road. Most joggers and bikers tend to run and bike on that side of the park. This side of the park is more natural, more leisurely walks done. There's the Albright Knox Art Gallery getting a huge, massive renovation. Again, they've been closed since the beginning of the year and will be closed for another year. They will also have a name change. They will now be the AKG Art Gallery. And hopefully when it reopens, I'll be able to show you a little bit of it. We're on the main road here. This is Lincoln Parkway. This car pulling up here did startle me for a moment because this is a little access road to the Terrace Restaurant, but uh, I just think they were looking for parking. They ended up turning around. That's the Rose Garden over there where we started our walk. We're going to end our walk here with showing off one of my favorite statues in all of Buffalo. This is young Abraham Lincoln. I hope you guys enjoyed this short walk of Delaware Park. Hopefully I'll have more videos like this to come. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.